Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Welcome back to SQL part three. So we're gonna jump through and run through this bad boy. So this is queries with constraints part two as titled up there. It's essentially the where stuff, but more advanced. So let's go through it, okay? Um, all right, so up until now, hopefully you've watched part one which is important, why this stuff matters. Um, and once you wrap your mind around why this stuff matters, then the learning kind of just comes from that. And the enjoyment and learning comes from that as well. All right. Find all the Toy Story movies. Okay, so that's probably not going to be that hard. I want to find everything about any movie that's Toy Story. So I can try to filter it by John Lasseter, but... Bugs Life also has John's Lasseter. I could try to filter filter it by year, but years are different. I could try to filter it by length, length is different. Or, so, well, you guys think about it. Think about it uh, before I say any solution. How would I filter it? How would I filter it so it finds a common pattern between this and the common pattern between this? Without being extremely specific and saying something like select title from movies where title equal equal toy story and title equal equal toy story 2 so without being a painfully verbose let's keep it really really simple okay and let's try to find a pattern here that will allow us to capture all of that all right so let's jump in and see okay so a lot of the times what you have to use for that is something called wild cards, okay? Which is probably what they're gonna talk about here. I don't know if they use a specific word wild card, but that's really what it is. Let's see if they use wild. Yep, they actually do. Wild car card pattern matching. So, uh, okay. So the one that we're probably looking for is something like an asterisk, which they're not showing here. I think I can say a like. Okay, so I can use this word like. All right, check it out. This is gonna be really cool. What do I have to select? I have to select only the title. Since we have to find all the Toy Story titles, we are going to do select star for now from movies where title like, and here they do wildcard matching. So if you do the percent sign and you put anything in between it, it'll just look for that. So for example, AT, it's called insensitive case uh, matching. So here AT or attic or bats or cat, anything has AT in it, either at the end or at the beginning or in the middle, okay? So for title like um, percent toy um, story because we're looking for Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3. So we're going to say, just look for this. And then that's it. So it almost reads like English. Select everything from movies where the title is like Toy Story. It's like, <laughs> right? Um, but generally how you'll write it is just break it down on separate lines. So it's easy to kind of reason through it and read through it. Okay, let's reset. Let's try the second one. You try it, and then I'm gonna do it as well, so then you follow along and look at my solution, okay? No cheating. You don't deserve to cheat unless you know how to do it. So pause, please, then actively learn, and then you can come and see the solutions. It's a good idea to learn like that. Find all the movies directed by John Lasseter. So how are we gonna do that? Think about it, okay? Pause. If you got it, uh, okay, good. I'm gonna go through it. I'm just gonna kind of speak it and then I'm gonna like format it. So, okay, select all the movies. So I'm gonna say select all the movies from movies where director, and I can say like, and I'm gonna say John Lasseter. Okay, so it selected all the movies where that's the director, perfect. Let's reset again. Find all the movies and director not directed by John Lasseter. Okay, so select. Here's the hack I'm going to do for this one. 
from movies where director like John Lasseter. Okay, and check out the hack. And just negate the whole thing. And then it gives you the opposite. That's it. Boom, done. All right, find all the wall E movies. So, for example, you might have wall G or wall E or, yeah, that's it. So, I think I can do it the same way. Um, I can say select everything from, you know, and then go down. Select everything from movies where movie like, or we're sorry, title like wall. Let's do percent like that. Okay. Um, and I don't need the percent behind that. I can just say wall and then whatever matches it, whatever random stuff afterwards is fine. I can also do this and then do the percent sign here. Okay. All of those work. Okay, guys, we are done with exercise three. Great job so far. Keep trying to do it on your own and then also then check in with the video because I'll cover a lot of the peripheral stuff that goes around it. For example, I'll do some right now. Um, here you have like, if not like, you have uh, in and not in. So for example, how I would use in here is I can say we're title in wall E comma wall G. That also works. Okay, so that's an example. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Awesome. I'll see you in part four. I think that's what it should be. And we're going to cover more stuff. So this is it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video.